Now let's try to understand how to find probability from spinner. When the pointer is spun, what is the probability of following events? So we have a wheel here divided into eight equal parts. The pointer shown is pointing at two for the time being. Now we need to figure out these probabilities for the three events mentioned here. The very first one is P7, which means probability of stopping at 7. The next one is P of even number, or probability of the pointer stopping at an even number. And part C is P at least 3, that is probability of stopping at a number less than 4, or it is at least 3. So it could be 1, 2, or 3, right? So let's try to understand these questions and see how to answer them. Now in a spinning wheel, this one, we have eight equal parts. That means when you spin this pointer, it could stop at one of these places. So the total number of, or the possible number of outcomes is eight, right? So we know number of outcomes. And that is eight for one spin, right? So it could stop in eight possible locations. And all are equally likely since each portion is equal part, right? Now let's get back to part A, which is probability of stopping at 7. Now how many 7s are there? There is only one 7, right? So it is one favorable chance for probability of stopping at 7. And therefore, P of 7 will be 1 out of total number of outcomes, which is 8. So the answer is 8, 1 over 8, right? The second one is probability of this pointer to stop at an even number. So at an even number. So how many even numbers do we have? As far as the even numbers are concerned, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So there are 4 even numbers. So if, if it stops at either one of these 4, we get even number, right? So favorable outcomes are 4 for us. 4 out of 8. So the probability is 4 out of 8, which could be written as half or 50%, right? The last one is probability of stopping at a number less than 4. Or we could also say probability of stopping at a number which is at least 3. Now, how many of these numbers are less than 4 or are at least 3? So, we have 3, 2, and 1. So, there are 3 numbers which are at least 3 out of 8. And therefore, this probability is 3 out of 8. So, that is how we can answer questions on spinners, right? I hope you understand the concept. And now, let's move on and do some more of similar kind. But I hope with this example, you understand the concept. If I write P within bracket 7, in such case, it means probability of stopping at 7. So that is how these numbers are related. Even number, probability of stopping at an even number. At least 3, probability of stopping at a number less than 4, right? Or 1, 2, or 3, right? So that is how we have to interpret and answer these questions. I'll appreciate if you go through it once again and then next problem, do it on your own. Thank you and all the best.